Hey guys, Tech Match here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix this issue where your software is up to date, but you know there is a software out there. This is a bug that can happen between iOS 15, 14, 13, or any of the older generation as well, where you know you can update the phone. However, the update does not show up and it just says that software is up to date. For example, in this case, this is an iPhone. 10s or the XS, it can update to iOS 15. However, you see this message where it says software is up to date, although we know it can download an update for us. So we're having an issue. We're going to resolve it by going through about six or seven troubleshooting steps. Again, this these steps that we're going to share with you guys are going to be different for everyone. It might be one case versus another. So stay tuned. Well, if you have if you don't get it within the first couple one later on, it will help you. And let's dive into today's video how you can fix this. First thing to check is compatibility of your phone. So iOS 15 is the latest version right now out there and you want to make sure your device is compatible. Well, how can you check if your device is compatible to the software version that you want to install? Well, for iOS 15, we know iPhone 6S and the iPhone first generation can be upgraded to iOS 15 and let's say there's a new update that's out or update you want to know you can always Google iOS 15 or iOS X whatever the iOS that you want to go to and then put iPhone compatibility so and if you do that it will take you to Apple's website most likely it could be Iowa was 16, 17, whatever the case is, whenever you're watching this video, you go down here and then you want to look for your phone to see if it's actually supported because if it's not supported, it just won't download on that phone and that's the thing about it. And as you notice here, you can't really see here. Okay, so as you can see iOS 15, for example, you can do it from the iPod Touch 7th generation and then the iPhone SE from 1st generation to the 6S, 6S Plus all the way to, of course, iPhone 13 where iOS 15 was released. Again, the regular 6 and the 6 Plus or the iPhone 5 will not be able to download iOS 15. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Again, the same applies for iPads as well. You can do the same method where you can check the compatibility list and make sure that you know it's compatible so once you know it's compatible for sure now let's move on to the first troubleshooting step that you want to do the first thing whenever you want to update your software is to check your storage on your iPhone to do that you're gonna go into settings and then once you're in your settings you are gonna go to general and then you want to go to iPhone storage now it's key that you look over here where it says as you can see we use up 10 gig out of 64 gig so this has a 64 gig let's say you used up pretty much all of it so you had like one or two gig left out of however many so this thing was all the way full here that means it just won't be able to download your version of the software of the new one because it doesn't have space on the phone again now you have to make space and you might wonder how can we make space well the way to make space is simply deleting things like videos photos you can look through the list here and see which one is taking up the most space but as a general rule you want to have at least 10 gigs available here for example this one we used up 10.5 gig of 64 gigs, so we have almost 50 gig left so you want to make sure whatever that number is minus 10 or so gig available for you so if we had at least here if it was 50 gig full out of 64 gig that might be okay but let's say if it was 55 or something might be not be able to download because sometimes the software updates are big packages and they need space on your device so make room for it and the other thing you can check is here in the list we don't have it but if you had an older version of the iOS uh, updated here so sometimes it will try to download and it fails because it doesn't have space look around to see if there is that file if you do see a update file there go ahead and delete that iOS update as well now that's going to be the second thing you want to do now the third thing you want to do to resolve this is going to be doing a force restart here the force restart process it's going to be pretty straightforward on the iPhone 10 and above or iPhone 8 and above in that case you're going to press and release the volume up button and then press and release the volume down button and then hold the power button here until you see the Apple logo and then after the Apple logo comes out it releases so we're going to do volume up volume down and then hold the power button here or the side button and don't do anything until you see 
the app will appear here again in the screen it's going to go black again keep on holding and until you see the apple logo one more time and let it go now what that does is clears any software issue you might have had that prevented the iphone from downloading and sometimes it happens when you use your phone for a very long time the memory cache fills up it just doesn't know how to act the software is glitching again it's a good practice to do whenever you have any sort of software issue so do that force restart now the next thing you want to check in this is that if you're still not getting the update and if you're still having that issue where it's just still saying the same thing now it's too, time to check the apple apple servers to make sure that their service is actually working so what apple does is they publish their services status page so if you look at if you google apple service status or system status service status whatever the case is system status is the correct name you want to make sure that whatever you look over here is make sure all of them are green so as you can see right now there's the issue with iCloud account and sign in there was some issue with the iCloud mail and iCloud storage upgrade now you want to take a look at this list here and make sure all of these are pretty much available and working if there's some major issue going on it might not be able to who download again this one for example mac os software update for example if this one wasn't working or not there it could be an issue for the phone as well so make sure all of these services are down and if something is down or if there's a lot of issue going on the best way to do is you gotta have to wait it out till those are resolved because without those you just won't be able to do it and apple usually resolves it really quick again this is and a hidden thing but you can always come to check whenever you're having issues with things like maybe facetime isn't working maybe you know something with icloud isn't working your keychain working it's always good to come here and check to make sure that everything is working as it should now moving on to our next tip for you guys to resolve this issue it's going to be doing a network reset again this is probably one of those ones that you can see uh, we have io 15.2 already available for us but this is something else you want to do you want to go to settings then general and then down all the way down here where it says reset you want to click on reset now you want to do this network reset do not do any of the other reset again if you do that erase all content is going to delete everything but this network one will not delete uh, your content like your photos and video what this one will do was reset all the network settings so what does it mean by network settings so all the settings like if you're connected to any Wi-Fi or hotspot that it remembered or any BPN that you had that will be all reset again you just have to reconnect again but that's usually a one of the big ones that when it comes to software update you want to do again this will not delete your photos videos anything files or anything anything that's pretty much your own document there it's just settings network settings that it's re deleting and just refreshing it again so if you had connected to Wi-Fi that Wi-Fi connection will be gone and you have to reconnect to Wi-Fi now after that reset heaven usually this reset takes somewhere between a minute maybe two sometimes even quicker again it depends on how much network setting was configured as you can see here it took under probably 30 seconds or so and we're back to the home screen here and now moving on to troubleshooting step number six for you again this is going to be another big one you want to go into settings again and this time you want to go to general and this time general you want to look for what's known as uh, profiles so here as you can see we don't have profile here because this phone doesn't have any profile but check here to see if you have a profile if you have a profile set up you're gonna have to delete that and the other thing you want to check while you're at it is going to be BPN so as you can see here right now we're not connected to any BPN but if you had a BPN connection you're gonna have to remove that so it's going to be listed here you click on it and then you delete it you have to of course set that BPN up again but sometimes what happens is if a BPN is there it's gonna block the download from happening which could be again an issue from the phone being able to download the update again the other thing you want to check again around with it's going to be around restrictions so sometimes if you have a phone that's not yours or if it's child or someone else's what happens is if it's a company for something there might be a restriction on software downloads to check if there's a restriction quickly you go into settings here and this time in the settings you're going to look for screen time so once you go to screen time here if there's a restriction on the phone it's going to ask for a password 
here the restriction isn't set up so that's why it says turn on restriction but if there's a restriction there's actually a password that stops the phone from being able to download as you can read here from anything so it won't be able to download again you, if there is a restriction you're gonna have to either contact someone who has that restriction information or the password so they can remove the restriction so you can download and update the software so those are gonna be all the troubleshooting tip we have for you guys the one thing we do want to say is that if you can't download through the regular Wi-Fi the other method of course downloading a software it's going to be using iTunes again what is iTunes iTunes is a free application that you can get off internet again it works for both MacBook and PC so you don't have to have a MacBook you can also get it in PC once you go to the website on your you know MacBook or PC or desktop whatever it is go to it download it and just connect the phone and then it will automatically ask you to update the software again that's going to be sort of if over the air isn't working meaning over the Wi-Fi isn't working so hopefully all these steps help you guys be able to download and update your phone if you have other tips or tricks that help you solve this issue please leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time